Welcome to Carnival Jubilee. We're going to start our tour on Deck 18 in the Serenity 21 and over area located right here. In the Serenity area, you will find a Serenity bar, Salad Creations, which is open for lunch, a pool, plenty of comfortable seating with table and chairs for you to enjoy your meal or drink, covered areas that are also free for you to use. You do not need to pay extra to use these loungers and uh, covered areas with pergolas. Plenty of clamshells for you to lay out and enjoy the sun. There are also some day beds available. They usually get taken up pretty quickly, so come and look for them or come a little earlier and grab yourself one. There's a towel station right there. There are also hot tubs located on either side of Serenity. Now we're going to walk down to deck 17. Deck 17 is where you will find Circle C, Club 02, Guy's Burger Joint, and the Warehouse Arcade. There are also a lot of uh, loungers spanning the pool area, around the pool on deck 17. The DJ booth is right there to your right. And as you move forward, you will find a Red Frog bar. That's the upper level of the bar. There's also a lower level. Right here to your right, you will see a uh, Swirls ice cream and Guy's Burger joint that serves delicious burgers made to order. There are plenty of varieties to choose from. And there's also a toppings bar located, located right there on the island. Now we are entering the warehouse arcade. To the right is Club uh, Circle C Club, 14 Agers. The arcade has so many fun games for you to play. You do not need to have cash on you. You just need to use your key card, your sale and sign card uh, to purchase any tokens to play. All the games were operational. When we were sailing, there was nothing out of order. There are so many wonderful fun games to play, whether you're a child, a teen, or an adult. Here's Club 02, that's for teenagers. They have their own area. back of the ship here you have a, a lot more comfortable loungers you have loungers with umbrellas for shade and if you walk up over there you will end up in uh, deck 19 the waterworks area this is the smoking area on deck 17 the part of it is open in the sun and the other part is covered now we're back up on deck 18 that features the ultimate playground. You'll have the Carnival Waterworks over there with, uh, I believe there's three slides. One of them is a drop slide. This is for the little kids, little play area. It is so much fun. So now right now you see people are lined up for the boat roller coaster. Here's some plenty of clamshells with wonderful shade for you to sit and enjoy. And above here is a ropes course and a basketball court to your left. People also play soccer there. 
Now we're walking um, on the walking track that wraps all the way around the sports court. And these are the stairs that lead you up to the ropes course. Haven't walked all the way around. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's the both roller coaster. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun to ride it. Unfortunately, they did not let us uh, strap a GoPro to it for some reason, even if it was holstered on. But wow, what an enjoyable ride. I am actually really afraid of heights and afraid of roller coasters. So I yelled on top of my lungs the entire time, but it was still so enjoyable. I have no regrets. Now we're gonna walk back down to deck 16 to the tides pool area. Right in the back of the ship, you'll have tides pool and two hot tubs on each side of the pool. We really like this area. A lot of times it wasn't as crowded as the beach pool would be. Also back here, you'll see Shaq's Big Chicken that has amazing, amazing chicken sandwiches and tenders. This is Tide's Bar that serves the Tide's Pool area. You have more Swirls ice cream to your right over there. And now we are gonna be entering to the Lido Marketplace, which is the buffet on Carnival Jubilee. The buffet is not as large as you would normally expect on a cruise ship as far as uh, varieties on the hot the hot areas uh, the salad bar is really large uh, there's delicious desserts uh, but th this area right here is where you will find every single one of your hot options and they will have I believe uh, four of those stations four or six so there's never any line really and you'll have no problem getting your food pretty quickly. All the food we had was actually very delicious, so no complaints in that department. Right here, we are the Red Frog Tiki Bar area. And this is the Beach Pool area. Right there on your right is where you would be getting all your towels. And if you have little ones, or yourself are not able to swim, there are plenty of life jackets there. Towards the front of the ship, you will have Street Eats that has Mad Sizzle, Steam Dreams, Time Prize, and um, Seafood Shack. All the options, with the exception of Seafood Shack, are free for you. And right here is a Louis Gowana Cantina. We really enjoy their tacos. And the breakfast options are so delicious as well. This is the toppings bar. Now we're gonna hop down to deck eight. Decks nine through 15 are staterooms only. And deck eight has pretty much everything on it. It's like the hub, the heart of the ship. Um, anything you want is on deck eight. So we're gonna start right there towards the back of the ship. Um, where the Havana area is and um, the Havana bar is open to everyone the bar and lounge they have live music there in the evenings it's actually the least busy bar if you want to come out there during the day and grab a drink the Havana pool area is only available to guests staying in the Havana suites now right here is Chibang, it is the Chinese-Mexican fusion restaurant. We enjoyed the lunch there. The dinner was not our favorite, but lunch we really liked. And I especially enjoyed the ramen soup. Pixel's Dream Studio is also on decade right next to Grand Central where you could schedule your photo shoot and have professional photography done for you and your significant others, your family, your friends. On the deck uh, 8 of the Grand Central is the upper level. You have the bonsai sushi and bonsai tapping yaki we dine in both of those restaurants and we absolutely love the hibachi the tapping yaki was 
uh, one of the best we've ever had and sushi is by far the best sushi we ever had is in bonsai and carnival you'll also have shops located on deck 8th at the jewelry store tech your watches pixels gallery where you can see digital photos of the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were exploring the ship you can also buy accessories for your cameras anything you need to make your trip more memorable as well as pictures moving forward You will see Cucina del Capitano, which is one of the semi-specialty dinings on the ship. The lunch is free and you'll get uh, one dinner is included. For any additional dinners, you will have to pay a fee. We enjoyed dining there. Please check out our other video of our experience on the ship where I will talk about which dishes were my favorite. Cucina del Capitano is definitely a favorite of mine. There you have a marina bar on your right. You'll have pizzeria, coastal slice. Pizza is opened about till 4 a.m. and they open at 11 a.m. I believe. Right next to it is Beach Buns, which is your deli sandwich shops where they have hot and cold sandwiches. Right across, you can walk out to the lanai that wraps around the ship with an exception of the Havana area, which is restricted for Havana guests only. Here you will have a dining that's alfresco dining. You could sit outside, grab a pizza, grab a sandwich, sit down and enjoy. And this is the flip version of the marina bar where you could sit and enjoy your drinks outside. There's also a smoking area right there as well. Rudy's Sea Grill is one of my most favorite restaurants. It's right up there with Fahrenheit 555 for steaks and seafood. It was absolutely delicious and it was one of the best dining experiences we've ever had. Moving towards the back hills have the guest services and carnival fun shops and through summer landing you will enter the guys smokehouse brew house they also have the best bloody marys at that bar right there and to your left is the heroes lounge also in this area at the late night they'll serve a late night buffet now walking out to the back this is the buffet on the right You'll have Guy's Pig and Anchor. They're only open on the sea days and they're only open for lunch. But here you could have your brisket, you could have your chicken, your beans, mac and cheese. Absolutely delicious. Now at the very back here you will find the Lanai Pool. It's very nice. You'll also have a couple of hot tubs available to you. Very relaxing, very nice place to spend the day. Coming down on deck seven, you will find um, Casino, Fahrenheit 555 Stayhouse, the main Pacific restaurant. Right now we're walking by Park West, that's the office for the art gallery. And this is the Pacific restaurant, which is the main dining room on the ship. We had my time dining and we really enjoyed it. It was really, really easy uh, to use the app to reserve, to check in for your dining and then it will just notify you whenever your table is ready and gives you plenty of time to get to your table. Fahrenheit 555 is our favorite steakhouse. The steaks are prime. They're unbelievably delicious. The oysters were unreal how delicious they were. I really highly recommend checking out Fahrenheit 555. I do not think you will be disappointed.
the cuts of steak are absolutely unbelievable and like I said they are prime not Angus really really good cuts of meat right now we're passing by the currants which change on display depending on the day they show different things on there on the left is the alchemy bar they have the delicious cocktails and they can also make a custom cocktail for you uh, whenever you feel in something specific just let the bartender know and they will hook you up we just passed the limelight lounge where they had uh, some of the comedy shows in there for the punchliner uh, this is the Portside Tobacco Store. They also sell their um, things like medicine or uh, hygienic care, things like that. Here is the entrance to the casino. On the left, on the right side, there's additional seating for the Grand Central Theater. Uh, Grand Central spans across three decks, deck six, seven, and eight. And uh, the seats are stadium side, uh, style seating up here. And so that you could get a pretty good view. We prefer to sit downstairs um, on the main level. We feel like you could get a better view down there. This is the Grand View Bar that serves the Grand Central Theater. And this is the casino. I won $1,600 jackpot in there. And I won a couple of extra smaller jackpots there as well. Um, the second time around on the ship really did, was good for me for winnings. <laughs> this is the Jubilee Theater. This is where they will have major production shows as well as comedy shows when they put all the comedians together. Uh, when the they do the late evening they will do like a combined show and they have two three comedians do uh, shows and all the shows are different so i if you like comedy go see every single one of them they're not repeats here on deck six there's a multitude of things as well we're gonna walk right past the gym over here i'm gonna show it to you in a second and um to your right once you pass the elevators, we're going to have the piano bar. We haven't had a chance to visit piano bar while we were on the sailing because we had our kids and we were doing a lot of kid activities. And So this is back into the Grand Central and you will see that on your right hand side is a Java Blue Cafe. They have um, coffee specialty coffees milkshakes you could get gatorade there from the cooler or you could have sandwiches and cookies and muffins and things of that nature that are free they also have some desserts that are for sale that's the center stage bar and that's the first level of the grand central theater java blue always had a very long line but if you come early in the morning you could miss it here's cherry on top where they sell candies by the pound and uh, we got our candies there. Every time we step by, every time we're on a carnival, we always step by and pick up a little treat. Um, they don't have to buy the whole pound. You could just buy a little bit, whatever little candies you want. The Golden Mermaid Bar is beautiful and it makes, uh, the bartenders make amazing drinks there. I had the bubble, the smoke drink that you, they blow up a bubble and you pop it and all the smoke comes out which was so much fun here's the model of the ship the beautiful jubilee straight ahead is the entrance to the atlantic restaurant where they had dr seuss's green eggs and ham breakfast this is carnival kitchen where they teach you how to cook and you get to cook things it's really great we haven't experienced that yet, but uh, there are a lot of people that booked it and enjoyed it. A Bistro's, Emerald's Bistro 717 makes amazing breakfast. Every time we have breakfast there, um, whether it's like the pulled pork kind of Benedict or the beef kind of Benedict, ex Benedict situation, oh, it's so good. And uh, we really enjoyed it. We haven't had lunch there though, but just breakfast was amazing. Hip Fish is a fun shop where you can buy purses, accessories. They have some designer handbags as well. And here's a cosmetic store on the right where you can get your makeup, your perfumes. 
anything you, the ladies need to feel pretty. Necklaces, jewelry. I love shopping and the fun shops. Uh, they're always running some sales and it's always such a fun time. Here's a punchliner comedy club. Uh, typically, all the R-rated shows would be held at this location, and then the PG shows would be held at the Limelight Lounge. Here's the Cloud Nights Bar, and you could see the full tour of this bar on my channel. I posted a separate video of that. Here's the fitness center. It's not large, but it has everything you need. They also do fitness classes there, the foot analysis. We got some insoles there, my husband and I, and we're still wearing them. They're very comfortable. It feels like you're getting better posture while you wear them. There are so many treadmills and ellipticals. Everything was in working order. Got a good workout in every time I went. You could also purchase fitness classes uh, before or right as soon as you book. And I believe they're about 10 to $20 a class depending on your package. I did a yoga and Pilates class and I enjoyed it. It was not easy. <laughs> My a few times I was the only person there. So the trainer really pushed me and uh, it was challenging, but it's all for good health. definitely check out the gym. This is where they hold spin class. Right here they do seminars and they also do the yoga classes and other classes in uh, this room right here. We didn't win anything um, on this cruise, but we did get a $50 gift card for the spa and I got my nails done and Adam got a shave. Here's the lower level of the Jubilee Theater. This is where we had our mustard station situation. Deck, uh, deck 5 is only state rooms, and on Deck 4 you'll have Camp Ocean, Dr. Seuss Bookville, and Family Harbor Lounge. On our first sailing on the Jubilee in February, we stayed in Family Harbor, and we really, really enjoyed the amenities that it has to offer, like the lounge where they serve breakfast, lunch, and snacks, and uh, you have video games there, and um, a nice little uh, movie, the uh, movie area where you could sit down and enjoy. And if you have children, you could uh, take them to Camp Ocean, which is also on Deck 4, which was extremely convenient for us. Another feature that is on Deck 4 is the ironing room. When we had wrinkled clothes, we would just come in there and press them, as well as Adam had a wrinkled hat, and we took advantage of that, and we pressed the hat. There's a nice sink over there where you could pre-wash things. There is no laundrette facility on this ship, unlike the older carnival ships. So unfortunately you cannot do your laundry yourself. Uh, however, you can have it done for you if you'd like to ask your stateroom attendant, but you can absolutely press and steam your clothes. So that's convenient. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment in the comment section and I would be so happy to answer any of, and all of your questions. And. Uh, Happy cruising to you all. See you on the next one.